Sultry Miami Beach with its hot nights and warm days is the perfect setting for romance. But when passion is one-sided, jealousy and rage can lead to murder. On April 16, 1996, University of Miami student Darren Thomas was returning to the dormitory he shared with star linebacker Marlon Barnes. Thomas saw that the tires of his SUV were flat. He had just loaned the car to his roommate. Annoyed, he wanted to confront him. When he went into the dorm, Thomas was horrified to find Barnes lying on the floor, covered in blood. He ran next door to call police. Miami-Dade County Police and Fire, where is your emergency? University of Miami, what building number? Room number? A patrol officer and an ambulance were immediately dispatched to the apartment. Attention all units, 332, University of Miami Athletic Dorm. Son, not there's a subject on the scene at 1901, Kilo 3105. Paramedics entered the scene. Marlon Barnes lay motionless on the floor. He'd been severely beaten about the head and face. He was pronounced dead at the scene. In the bedroom, the officer found another victim. There's a female down, detectives. A young woman, also badly beaten. Despite efforts to revive her, the victim's vital signs remained weak. Medics needed to get her to a hospital immediately. Crime scene investigators arrived and began to carefully search through the apartment, looking for clues. It was eerily undisturbed, suggesting that robbery was not a motive for the attack. Investigators found splinters of wood and shards of metal near the front door. But the wood pieces did not seem to match any of the furniture in the apartment. It may have come from the murder weapon. They also found fragments of teeth and bone. Testaments to the savagery of the attacks. Investigators interviewed Darren Thomas. He identified the female victim as 22-year-old Tim Wanika Lumpkins. Unfortunately, she too would not survive. 